If I was in charge of Loot Community for one day, these are the five things that I would change about the Prime app. Now I wanna start this video by saying out loud and acknowledging how incredibly difficult and expensive it is to create and release an app. If you've ever been a part of that experience, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, just trust me. Um, it, it's way more work than you think and it costs way more money than you think it does. So I wanna start this video by saying uh, congrats to Matt, the team at Loop Community. Um, this is not a video to say, here's five things that are wrong with Prime. This is just kind of a thought experiment. If Matt were to hand me the keys to Luba Community, say, well, you have endless funds, what would you do? These are the five things I would do. In fact, I'm gonna continue this in a little series where next week I'm gonna look at playback from multi-tracks and then the week after that, uh, live from Ableton to kind of say, here's the five things that I would change. Uh, if you wanna see all those, make sure to subscribe and enable the bell icon. But let's start with Prime. Uh, I'm gonna be primarily talking about Prime on desktop. Some of these uh, relate to Prime on iPad or I iPhone as well too. Uh, but I'm gonna be showing the desktop just because it's easiest to show. And so that's the majority of the kind of complaints or suggestions or dream features that I wish I had. Okay, let's start at the top. So number one, if I could change anything about Prime, I would make it to where I could uh, upload and add my own content directly to the app. Now, I know you there is uh, the, the Loop Pro Cloud that you could subscribe to and you could get cloud access uh, and you can upload your own content to the cloud, then download it into the app, uh, add your, your markers and uh, all that sort of tempo information to your content. I know that exists. And that's, that's great if you're using content outside of, uh, of Loop Community. But I, personally, I think that just is way too long of an experience. And it's a weird experience when you have a desktop app. Like, let's imagine if we went to the app and I did Command N, and that opened up a new Prime window and I was able to upload my content directly into Prime. Um, that would just feel like a desktop experience. It would be like opening a Pages document if you're on a Mac, opening a, a Word doc if you're on a Windows PC, or opening an Ableton file and adding your own content into it. Now again, I understand there's a lot of complications as to why that can't happen. It would be difficult to uh, transfer. But imagine for a second if we could open a, um, a Prime document, if you will. Let me show you. Let's go to the screen. Let's open a Prime document. Let's drag our stems into this. Let's hit save. And then in the background, uh, Prime Cloud basically functions like Dropbox and it takes that file after I added stuff to it and it syncs it between devices. To me, this would make the desktop app such a better experience uh, if I could do that and access that directly in the app. Okay, the next thing that I would change uh, about the Prime app is the ability to adjust click subdivision. So if we go into Prime, uh, we could go into the preferences here and you can see that we can change click subdivisions uh, by loading in just like normal click or doubling it. Uh, if I create, go to add song here, let's create a click track. Uh, I could even uh, do this per click track, right? So we could do add click track. I could choose what subdivision I want here what tempo, what time signature. Uh, all of those are great features. I'm, I'm glad that exists. But I wish that I had the ability to have a fader. So let's go back to the app here. I wish I had a fader here. Instead of just click that said click quarter notes, click eighth notes, click 16th notes. Uh, if you're weird and you use a 16th note click, but you know, whatever, to each his own. Um, um, if I had the ability to adjust the accent of the click, because uh, I think the, the level of that maybe should change. I should change my eighth note blend uh, for songs. I wish I had more control over my individual click subdivisions. Again, then just having just this default click volume fader right here. So again, that may seem small, that may not matter to you, but uh, it's not your video, it's my video. But to me, I, I love that feature. That's why I created Foundations for Live and, and Ableton Live. And that's why when I was at Multitracks, that's something I pushed for in playback was to have the ability to subdivide the click. Okay, uh, number three, again, I'm interested to see if anyone else wants this feature or not. Let me actually open the app to, to show you this uh, so you could see it. I wish I could go right up here to the C. Maybe let's say we click edit. We do edit arrangement, you know, whatever we do. I wish I could like right click on this section. See, we have delete section. We could add uh, sections. We could remove sections. Um, I wish I could go up here and say, okay, instead of calling this course, let's rename and let's call this uh, bridge. Let's call this turnaround. Let's call this tag. And then I wish that when I rename that, it would change my uh, guide queue to match that. Again, this may not be for you. You may not ever need that ability, but that's one of my favorite features of Ableton Live particularly when I'm in a music director scenario where I can honor and serve my band really well, I wanna keep all those sorts of things consistent. And particularly when you're using content from Loop Community, using content from Multitracks, they call things different things, and that's because there's humans uh, behind the scene they are taking the songs and formatting them and uploading them to servers. So that particular human 
that day is following a chart, maybe following the, the label, maybe following the artist and what they said. And then the, another human in another location is, is choosing a different term. So instead of turn or turn around, maybe you want tag, uh, you know, uh, vamp. I, I was working with some multi-track content a couple weeks ago and it said vamp a lot when I thought this would just be a turn. This would be like a refrain, whatever it is. But I would love the ability, again, really quickly, just to go into my song sections to right click, to rename a section. And uh, most importantly, when I rename the section, I think what would be really, really cool is uh, it renamed the guide queue as well too. Um, now, the other thing I wish Prime would do is add a subscribe button so that directly in the app, you could hit subscribe and subscribe to the From Studio to Stage YouTube channel. Actually, I'm slightly joking, Matt, please don't do that. Well, unless you want to, then then go ahead. But uh, you can do that right now watching this video, hit the subscribe button on this video. I post a brand new tutorial every single day, 10 a.m. Central. Wednesdays is content all for worship leaders, music directors. So if that's you, um, then I want you to stick around. I want you to check this out. So hit the subscribe button, enable the bell icon, uh, and I don't want you to miss out on the next video. Okay, next thing I would do, I don't know if this works for you, if this matters to you, but I wish in the app, let's get out of edit mode here. Let's hit done. Uh, I wish that, you know, I like that I have faders here. I like that I can see song sections. I can see the songs. I wish that there was a view where I had bigger faders. I wish there was a view where faders were maybe at the bottom of my set. Um, really kind of a view similar to what the playback has from multi-tracks. Um, I wish there were, um, actually maybe even bigger than that, I wish there were multiple views that I could see uh, in Prime. Uh, it, how cool would it be again? Let's dream just for a second because I'm in charge for a moment and uh, we have endless amounts of money and Matt said I can do whatever I want. Um, let's say there's a view where there's faders at the bottom that are big and we don't have our set list. Let's say there's a view where it's just set list. Uh, maybe there's a view where it's set list and then we have a drop down for our song sections. Or what if, if you've ever seen Touch OSC um, or seen like a, uh, uh, well, let's stick with Touch OSC for a moment. It's like a Touch OSC document and I have little song sections on like a drum pad for every section. Um, that's something I've done um, and created a lot of content for uh, when I'm, I'm, I need like individual access to each song section. How cool would it be uh, if uh, there was a view where each of my song sections were kind of laid out in like squares? So as opposed to uh, this timeline up here, you saw kind of uh, song sections in clips, almost like clips in session view in a way. Uh, but instead of, uh, uh, you know, something that does this, it's just kind of chopped up. I, I think the, the greater idea here though is what if there were multiple views to this? We've got this underlying content. We've got our app here. What if we could have multiple different views that maybe uh, when I'm editing, I use this view. Maybe there's a bigger um, a timeline view or I get a bigger uh, view of the uh, the clip, the waveform. Then maybe there's a view that's just faders. Maybe there's a view that's again, just set list. Regardless, I, I think it would be cool to have essentially multiple views um, of the same content uh, in Prime. Okay, final thing here. You're gonna hear a similar refrain next week for this particular one with playback. Is I wish that Loop Community would create a desktop first app. What I mean by that, again, I love that they have an app that loads on my Mac desktop that I can use. But when you look at the app, it looks really similar to the app that you see when you uh, run this on your iPad. It looks really similar to the app that you see when you run this on your iPhone because essentially it, it's the same app just kind of blown up a little bit. And so those apps are apps that were created for touch first, for iPhone, for iPad. Um, I wish that this app was created specifically for desktop. I wish, and again, I, I don't want to pretend that this uh, doesn't cost lots of money because I know it's incredibly, uh, costs a lot of money. It's a different set of developers. Maybe it's the same developers, but you're kind of splitting their time. So you're hiring more developers. There's so many complications to this. Uh, again, those of you that haven't developed an app before or worked with a team that's developed an app, I wish you could understand just how incredibly difficult this is. It makes me so thankful I'm no longer in the app development business. But I wish that I could load this desktop app. Uh, I could use keyboard shortcuts to access it. Again, uh, we, we talked about the very first thing that I could load songs directly into the app. I could have a little more uh, in-depth editing. Maybe the in-depth editing is only available on the desktop version, but not the iPad, uh, iOS versions. Again, then people would complain that it's not available there. I get it, there's so many complexities. But I wish that this app was desktop first. I, I wish that this app 
gave me more flexibility that's only available on the desktop. Um, uh, you know, I can make it bigger, can make it full screen, which I know you can do now, but maybe make it full screen again, back to my previous one, I get a completely different view than I have here. So those are my five things, five suggestions I would do if Matt put me in charge of Live Community for a day. Let's pray that never happens. We don't wanna see me in charge of a, a company like that. But if I were, those are the five things I would do. Here's what I wanna do though. I wanna wrap up this video. I wanna hear what's at least one thing in the comments. Let me know that you wish Loop Community would change. What's one feature that you wish Loop Community would add to the Prime app? Again, I want to acknowledge, I want to thank Matt and the team for their hard work, their dedication to creating resources for worship leaders. But let's all dream for a minute. What's one feature that you would add to the Prime app if you were in charge of Loop Community for a day? Again, let me know in the comments. Hit subscribe, enable the bell icon. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.